Yeah, this dispute goes back to the start of this past school year at Gardner grade school downstate and boiled over in the last week, getting a lot of attention. I was at work. I got a phone call from one of the teachers at the school and said that Charlie had collided with another student and she had some scratches on her face. I asked her how bad is it? She wouldn't respond. I asked her, I said, give her her phone, let her FaceTime me so I can see it. She goes, well, let me ask you a question. Has Charlie had any problems with any other students in the school? And I said, yes. And I said the girl's name. She goes, yes, that's her. When I walked into the school, she was sitting in a little closet thing by the secretary's office with the ice pack on her face. I walked in and she looked at me, she's crying, and I said, are you okay? She goes, yes. And that's when I noticed that her tooth was broke. The principal, I asked, where is he? He's in the office in a meeting on the computer doing some kind of class and he didn't have time to come out. So I went in and he explained to me that in the meeting that he's on or class, whatever it was, that was very important and my responses, my daughter's face is very important, you need to look at this. It's the worst feeling in the world that your kid's hurt and you're 30 miles away. And knowing that somebody did this intentionally, that is the worst feeling in the world. When my mom went to school, um, I told her to call me so I could like see like what the extent was. She didn't want me to see it because I had a 13 hour work day ahead of me. Charlie Funes has not been back to school since she was attacked. It was the 13 year old's older brother who came to her defense on social media, outraged about what happened to his the sister. The school is now calling this a case of student misconduct. The family of the victim calls it bullying. In response to the incident, the district immediately began an investigation. I didn't know what my next step was. I didn't know what I should do. At that point, I just needed to take care of my kid. The situation that Charlie was in, and it was all over the news, um, and Henner had posted it on his Instagram account. And so we saw that, and my partner and I, Ian, you know, we reached out to Henner and said, hey, you know, we're in Illinois. Um, if there's any way we can help, you know, let us know. And then I think it was just a couple days after that, you know, Henner's like, hey, you know, we, you know, we found Charlie, and you know, we wanted to uh, see if you're up to go ahead and training her. When we came on our way here, she was excited but nervous. She looks up to Mary, and when she knew Mary was going to be there, she was like, let's do this, Mary. You know, as, as kids get older and as the bullying, I think the bullying epidemic has been increasing. There definitely has been a lot more cases of bullying. As a parent, when I see that, um, it's very disheartening. You have to have a parent that cares enough, that's be able, be, being able to identify that, hey, look, my child is getting bullied and I need to do something, you know, for my child. Um, when I first came in, I felt nervous, but then now I feel excited. It's funny, I think the favorite technique that Charlie had on her first class was the Americana. And there were a couple times where she almost ripped my shoulder off. So it was, uh, was kind of cool to be able to, to teach her how to um, apply jujitsu, but then not hurt the bad guy too. I think for, for Charlie especially, she learned, hey, I put the time in, I put the effort in, and 
I think that gave her a lot of confidence to be able to do this, you know, not in front, not just for herself, but in front of other people and be able to express herself and to be able to stand up for herself as well. So. How was our first day at school? It was amazing. Really? I was nervous about going back. And now I don't have to be nervous at all. I asked her if she was ready to go to school today. And she goes, I'm going to be fine. And I said, why is that? I'm bulletproof. <laughs> you said that, Charlie? Yep. But do you really believe it? Yeah. She has a friend. They've been friends for about three years. And Charlie always did what she wanted. Charlie's not doing what she wants anymore. Tell me about Char that, Charlie. So when me and my friend used to hang out like three years ago, um, she would always like take control. Now that I have more confidence in myself, I am telling her, no, let's do what I want to do. That's the best news of my entire year, you guys, to hear that. I was nervous for her because I know she's not going to hit. And then when you explained it to me, and then that day I walked in there and Jeff said, Kim, we got this. And he started training her. I was crying through the first 10 minutes because not only did she learn, but she loved what she was doing. And I, I see a different Charlie. She's got, she's more vocal. She stands up for herself. And I have to thank you for that. You gave my daughter back and stronger than she was before.